Kolkata's colonial past is visible through its magnificent landmarks, all adding the mystic charm to the megapolis, taking us back to the days of the British Raj, the murmurs of history of that era, reminiscences of the regal heritage. One such spectacular location is the sprawling race course under the management of the Royal Calcutta Turf Club, the RCTC, which was founded on the 20th of February, 1847 in Calcutta and became the premier horse racing organization in India. During the height of the colonial rule, even after the direct administration by the British Crown after 1858, the races it organized were believed to be among the most popular social events of the calendar, opened by the Viceroy of India. During the 1930s, the Calcutta Derby Sweeps, organized by the club, was the largest sweepstakes in the world. With the passage of time, the glory of the Royal Calcutta Turf Club has become multi-dimensional and exclusive, with the best of races being organized at the Kolkata race course. And they're off and racing and losing a lot at the start there was the favorite Port of Spain, about six lengths. As they settle down to race and uh, resolute the early lead. Going along in front. Now into the spotlight and Sagittarius vying for the lead. On the very, very wide outside, New Moon. Two then away, Lumos. Go. Then comes Glorious Leaps. One behind and that's aggression. Out of it completely, Corona del Corsa. They go past the 800. And creation of God and four lands behind his blazing bell. As the field gets past the 600 meters and comes to Soon after the fall of Bengal, in the wake of East India Company's victory at the Battle of Baksar on the 22nd of October 1764, Calcutta gained its importance as a major trading center and the first base of British power in India. With an army based on cavalry, sports such as hunting, polo and racing were naturally important as the British Army was heavily dependent on cavalry. For the first time in India, on the 16th of January 1769, at Accra, near Calcutta, organized horse races were held and had continued for the next 40 years. Initially, the races were held on narrow, rough and poorly prepared courses. Such courses were not good for the participating horses because they would affect the performance of the horses as well as the jockeys. At this juncture, Governor Lord Wellesley prohibited horse racing in 1798. However, five years later, the Bengal Jockey Club resumed racing at Accra and races moved over to the Maidan area of Calcutta in 1809, where they are still being held. From its inception in 1847, the Calcutta Turf Club's main function was to regulate all aspects of horse racing in Calcutta. In that period, Lord Ulrich Brown and Sir William Macpherson's contributions to the setting up of the rules of racing are priceless. The Calcutta Turf Club added Royal to its name in 1912 after the King George V visited the races for the second time and in the early 20th century the Calcutta Turf Club conducted races on 28 days each year. The extensive stands of the Calcutta race course, white 
amidst lush green open space have a special charm. Away on the horizon are the high-rise city buildings and nearer the white marble grandeur of the Victoria Memorial in its well-planted park. This magnificent edifice stands sentinel as it did in the year when Calcutta races were honored by the visit of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on which occasion she presented her own trophy which she continues to donate every winter. In the heritage location of Kolkata, right at the heart of the city, you enjoy the splendor of the RCTC clubhouse or the gallery stands. Fascinating lounges with great cuisine or a breathtaking view laced with lunch at the RCTC veranda overlooking the race course. The campus is lush green with horse tables, a great watchtower and rich memoirs of the colonial past. The racing days are very busy with the galleries and the stands filled up with those who bet their money on their favorite horses. And the races are conducted very precisely and under efficient management of the club. Your time at the Heritage Royal Calcutta Turf Club is very well rewarded with its quality ambience impeccable service and if lady luck shines on you you can emerge a winner too the memories at the royal calcutta turf club are truly priceless and as you cherish the rctc moments you feel really proud that this historical club has indeed borne the legacy of the colonial past. <laughs>